Hello folks, I'm coming at you today from my bedroom because <laughs> uh, my kids are making lots of noise in my usual filming spot, but um, thought I'd move along and uh, take some more videos of my uh, Garbage Pail Kid collection. This time this is a sort of miscellaneous binder with all kinds of stuff, not even all Garbage Pail Kids, but uh, we'll start, we'll flip through it, see what you think. So we've got, first up, the flashback series. Um, here's what the backs look like on these guys. Uh, you can see at the bottom we got the copyright 2011, so this is a relatively recent series. Um, I only have a couple of these that uh, basically ended up with um, as part of a uh, eBay purchase. That's what a lot of my miscellaneous stuff comes from. Uh, somebody just threw it in with uh, with another purchase I made. Um, so these are just uh, basically reprints of older cards that they uh, they slapped the Garbage Pail Kids flashback logo on and this different border, and they had a different numbering system for this. Uh, but they're pretty much the same cards from earlier series. Uh, and then down here I've got a couple of other random ones. Um, <laughs> these are just some... Uh, some weird uh, showbiz pizza cards that had the Garbage Pail Kid look to them. And then this uh, other card. I'm actually not even certain what series this one is from. This watchdog guy. Um, we've got him. And we've got this. He's pizza time. He's got the Chuck E. Cheese shirt and the showbiz pizza shirt over there. And I believe those numbers are meaningless. They're just saying like... That's supposed to be the year, 1977, 1980. Just looking back in time. Um, then we can move on to these magnets. So this was, there was a series of magnets, uh, 16, and you can see the number in the corner there, one of 16. Um, and these guys are from 2012, it looks like. Um, and that's my dog. There she goes. Yeah, you'll notice all the hair on the bedspread here. That's from my dog. <laughs> Um, but again, these magnets were just reprints of, uh, well, some of them were anyway, reprints of early, um, early Garbage Pail Kid cards. But then you'll see some of them are not. So here's a uh, Stan Alive and Gary Goyle, not Toby, not to be, to be or not to be, Tony Starch. These guys, I think, were either original to this or were for a much later series of the cards. I'm not 100% on that. So I don't have the whole magnet series, but I have almost the whole thing. Just missing a couple. Um, Van Tom, Sun Bernie, Dawn Poor. Some, some of these are pretty fun. Topiary Terry, Noah Constrictor. They've made that joke before. <laughs> the guy getting eaten by a snake. I'm pretty sure that's not a boa constrictor, though. Isn't that a cobra? I don't know. Uh... Ivy, Ivy, and here's a, this curious Kate appears to have pulled out its own brain. Lovely. Um, so there's your magnets. Yeah, and I, I guess I could throw these on my fridge, but I just keep them in here with my other cards. <laughs> um, then we're moving on again to a series called We Hate the 90s. Now, they did a... We hate the 80s as well. Um, I actually can't even remember if I got any of those. Uh, if I do, they're in a different binder. but um, And we'll, we'll probably come across them later. But this one is the We Hate the 90s. So, like, all of these cards have a 90s theme to them. Um, looking back in time at a 90s pop culture stuff. This is obviously a Beavis and Butthead reference with... And, of course, the guy who created that was named Mike Judge, so they went with Judge and Mike. Um, and we've got some comic book references, MTV references, Extremely, Bleached Blake. The bleached hair was a big deal in the 90s. Matt Tats. Offensive Orlando with Up Yours on his shirt. Sneak Kerwin. This one's kind of fun because it just completely covers the Garbage Pail Kids logo. <laughs> this is a gigantic head and hair. Uh, and here's the Bill and Ted. 
buzzed bill. That one's fun. <laughs> and the backs of these, of the modern series, uh, the more recent series, they all look like this. Um, they just have, they split them into these um, sub-series. And then on the back, it's just the name of the sub-series and then the number in that series. And it'll give you the number, the total number as well. Um, so obviously I do not have the complete uh, set of We Hate the 90s. I think I, I got like a couple of packages of them and then I was kind of not not really into the into the art and the, the series all that much. So I just kind of uh, gave up on them. But uh, of course, I kept what I had. So... Here's your Terminator 2 reference. Terminate. Sleepless in Seattle. So this sub-series, you'll see this one is cartoons and comics, 90s fads, 90s films, fashion. Uh, I think this is still the films, yeah. So I have a lot of the films sub-series. So these are all movies. Obviously, this is Jurassic Park, Jeff Go Boom, and I got the, um, the Purple Border for this one. Purple Border, I think, is pretty rare, so that's a pretty rare card. Um... Arachnophobic Rick. Anybody remember Arachnophobia? I remember loving that movie when it came out. <laughs> it was one of those great uh, spider horror comedy movies. This one is fun because it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but they've inserted a Garbage Pail Kid character <laughs> into the card. So she's actually like killing uh, Mr. 1A there. <laughs> and again, they've made this, uh, this is Independence Day, but they've made it sort of into... Like a garbage pail kid insertion. This looks a lot like uh, the Adam Bomb and other characters they've done. Uh, and of course, this is Pulp Fiction, Royale with Lewis, uh, Big Lebowski with a uh, that Calvin and Hobbes bumper sticker reference. Oddly enough, um, and this one's got the green border, which is one of the more uh, common borders uh, in these series. And let's see. Oh, we're still in the movies, so this is uh, uh, something about Mary, the Matrix here. Just say no. Uh, now I think we've got to have moved on to something else. Yes, 90s music and celebrities now in this series. Oh, and this is from it, the, the famous uh, music video. Um, I really like that song, actually. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Ginger, Ginger, we got the Spice Girls getting... Uh, Destroyed in the mortar and pestle. Uh, Doug Life. <laughs> that one's pretty good. Um, this is another weird border color. This one is like uh, mustard yellow or something. I forget. Or piss yellow. I forget what they call it. And we've got the um, Dan Quayle reference to when he spelled potato wrong. Yeah, we're into politics and news now. Scud Buster. If you lived through the 90s, you remember the Scud missiles. Blasting Bill, there's Bill Clinton, who they've put into another classic Garbage Pail Kids uh, formulation there. I forget what character that was. Horatio Horn, something like that. I forget what series that was. Three, four, five? I don't know. Let's see what we have here. Channel Charles, yeah, the channel. And then the uh, the Mars Rover, Joy Rider, Stuck Chuck. Everybody had one of those. Monty in my pocket. That's from Monster in my pocket. Another green border here with Slip and Clyde. The Slip and Slides. Hair Bill. What are we into now? Oh, these are 90s toys. Okay. Uh, the Beanie Babies, of course. And we got the Poop and Fart going on there. Tamagotchis. <laughs> that one's kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of gross, too, of course. Uh, and there's Urkel. So now we must be moving into something else. Yeah, 90s TV now. Uh, Fresh Prince with Fresh Phil. I think that might actually be the second appearance of Will Smith in here. <laughs> he was big in the 90s. Here's that Dinosaurs TV show. They've actually brought that back on, like, Disney Plus or something recently, I think. Not the mama. Um, Alien Autopsy, that special that everybody got crazy about for, like, a week. <laughs> now it's Alan Autopsy Barney, Barney was huge Purple Dino Hyrule, I like this one of course Because the reference to one of my favorite game series Of all time, Legend of Zelda 
um, and they're making fun of the fact that you can carry a ridiculous amount of stuff as Link <laughs> in those games without uh, without it weighing you down at all. Um, and then we've got the Street Fighter reference. I love the Street Fighter games. Pete Fighter. Smelly feet and all. Uh, and I've got another rare purple border here with a, the Pokemon reference. His eyeball is a Pokeball. Catch him, Al. And Pokemon Row. Uh, oh, and then this is interesting. So let's see what this has on the back. Yeah, so um, they did a, a connection with uh, Wacky Packages. So Wacky Packages is another um, collectible card that Topps puts out uh, that's actually older than Garbage Pail Kids. And there's often crossovers between them. Um, I think, in fact, Garbage Pail Kids might have been born out of an idea for a Wacky Package um, card. Uh, I can't remember for sure if that's true, but... <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, this is, they actually have a sub-series of this, of this series that's all, um, uh, sort of merged, um, wacky packages and, um, and garbage pail kids. So here's the Bad Zuka gum. Now, wacky packages, if you don't know, are parodies of products. So that's always like a, a packaged product of some sort, but they've changed the logo to be something gross or stupid, um, they're pretty fun. Uh, I have some of those too. I'll probably end up uh, doing a video of those. So here we've got um, <laughs> Glad trash bags, but it's Vlad, the Impaler, and you see, of course, they've they've pulled in the uh, the vampire character from Garbage Pail Kids, and this is another one uh, uh, kind of tea that they're making fun of here. It's out of this world. I love the. They usually put a lot of fun little details and little gags into the packaging on these wacky package guys Let's see fits up to 30 gallons of plasma and they've got like a, a name on the back on the tombstone in the background and there's all kinds of little text and details and then we've got the uh, babysitters club here but it's the baby splitters club and our uh another character from uh garbage pail kids past here Separated at birthday, and it's a scholastic book, but it's skullastic. So they always have fun with those. Next up, what do we have? Uh, garbage gang. So these, this was actually a collectible uh, card game they tried to do with um, with garbage pail kids. Yeah. Um, I don't think it really went anywhere, but I've got some of them here. Jenny Jelly, Snotwitch Sandra. These are all um, reprints of existing Garbage Pail Kids. Acid Wayne, Ill Windsor, Explore Norman. But, oh, and th this one is a lenticular one. If I tilt this, you'll see. You can see he sticks his finger up his nose. And that's kind of cool. Uh, and then on the backs, there's like statistics for the for the cards. There, power, trash, stink. They have a, uh, and then they have types. This one is rot. This one is snot. And I guess it's it's almost kind of like a the game. I guess the game idea was sort of a, um, a a war or like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, rock paper scissors type idea where the types would. Uh, some types were strong against others or weak against others, and then you would like compare the number. Um, and you can see the numbers on the back in the center: seventy-two, forty-four. So I've never actually tried to play at all with these. I mean, I only have this handful of them, so I imagine you can't really play much of a game with them. But this guy looks like he's a special card of some sort. He has this superpower: vile havoc. Uh, anim animation card it says okay moving along now another thing I really love is Mystery Science Theater 3000 and uh, there's been a series of collectible cards uh, related to this TV show put out um, here we go Mystery Science Theater 3000 which if you don't know is a show with a, uh, a fella <laughs> watches movies with some puppets that are uh meant to be robots and uh the idea is that he's been captured by a mad scientist and forced to watch bad movies and they they uh 
while they scan his brain or something. Um, and here are the mad scientists. <laughs> and uh, it's it's gone through a lot of iterations. It was on Comedy Central. Um, it went to Sci-Fi Channel for a while. Then it went to Netflix. And there were a couple of Kickstarters to bring it back. And uh, the the newest iteration, which is still uh, they're still putting together, is going to have its own uh, distribution platform. Uh, that was part of the Kickstarter. Um, so it's not going to be on Netflix. They're going to have their own like distribution platform that you can download or, or stream it through. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. It's a really funny show. Uh, and these have little things on the back here about the invention exchange, some riffs. This one gives you like info about the episode, some basic info about it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, next up we got Lego Movie 2 collectible cards, which I ended up with somehow or other. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you remember this movie. It was a lot of fun. I love the Lego movie. I love Legos. You'll see that on my channel too. I often have uh, Lego sets that I put together and I talk about. Um, this was... Now what company put this out? It looks like it's just Warner Brothers put it out. Um, and uh, these MST3K, I feel like these might even be fan-made, these cards. What does it say here? Uh, Satellite of Love, LLC. Published by R.R. Parks Cards. Hmm. Anyways, there's the Lego Movie 2 cards, and then we're moving on to Revenge of Oh the Horrible. Another uh, quite recent series of Garbage Pail Kid cards. I'm going to take a break here myself and come back in a sec. Okay, so we're picking up with Revenge of Oh the Horrible. So, Oh the Horrible, the first series, uh, I believe it came out in like, is it 2019, 2018? It was either 2019 or 2018. And I guess it did very well. It was a horror-themed series of Garbage Pail Kids. So they did a sequel. And this is that sequel, The Revenge of Oh the Horrible. Um, and again, like the other series that we, we were just looking at, um, it was uh, split into these subsets um, of these smaller subsets with different themes, uh, all horror-related. But um, this one was 80s stuff. Uh I think I might have the complete of these, at least the base set. Um, cause I, you know, I, I like that theme. I like the horror movie theme. It's not all movies, but it's, it's horror related stuff, which I enjoyed. So, uh, I kind of got into it and, uh, tried to get them all. This one is, uh, clearly about the aliens movies. Eggie Ellen, R.I.P. Lee. Here we are with Rota Rage. Uh, and I guess this is Christine, right? Plymouth Mary. Birthday Kate. And again, these had the different border colors you could collect, with green being the more um, common of those. Reanimated Nate. This has this got some cool details to it and colors. I like that one. And here's the Cujo card. Cujo. Rabbit Ralph. Here's your Evil Dead card. Evil Dead 2, I think, actually. Thumb Warren. Ash versus Ash. <laughs> ah, you're so cool, Brewster. Branded Brewster. Holy Walter. The yellow is a little bit less uh, less common than the green. Halloween Trey. Melting Melvin. Lost Boyd. From Lost Boyd, of course. That one's fun. Got the yellow border on that one. Upside Down David. Now, with these, I think I just stacked them. Yeah, if I got uh, different versions of the same card I just stacked them in the same sleeve which is probably frowned upon in terms of uh keeping them uh all out uh visible and and in best possible shape but I didn't feel like using up quite that much space because sometimes you would get a duplicate of different with a different color border but it's really the same card so I just put like the rarest border card on top and stuck the rest behind it um Maximum Overdrive, Hit and Run. These are all still the 80s horror stickers. Looks like we got 15, so really 30, because you got an A and B of each. Homicidal, 
Symbol Kimball. Rex Rex. Rawhead Tet. Ah, this is fun. Reanimator. Hypodermic Herbert. Reanimate Tour. Uh, they didn't really try very hard on that name. Tar Manny. Some of these I really I don't get the reference. <laughs> really not sure what this is supposed to be a reference to. Zombri. Bobby Gum. This one I know. This is from They Live. <laughs> uh, revealing Roddy. And here's just a bunch of horror movie greats. They've stuck together in one horrible beast here. Killer B. Killian and Bobby Count. Then we move on to another subset. This was classic monster stickers. So they just basically reprinted old uh, creatures from Garbage Pail Kids past that could uh, conceivably be, <laughs> be considered uh, monster cards. I always like this bat guy, Batty Barney. Michael Mutant. They get a lot of mileage out of these old cards, out of the whole um, uh, nostalgia thing, where they just, they're just like, alright, now for this subset, we'll just reprint a bunch of old cards that we already have. Must save them money, too, right? They don't have to make new art. Creepy Carol, Scary Carrie, Slimy Sam. All these guys should be familiar. Lizard Liz, Fry and Ryan. There we got this guy eating. I think they lightened this card up so you can see more details, actually. Seems like I can see more of what's going on there. And uh, now we're moving on to another subset, Cold Horror. You'll see this one is very similar to a Garbage Pail Kid uh, that I'm familiar with, but of course it's, it's actually a reference to another movie. And for whatever reason, I put this one in separate pockets. Maybe I was... I was a little bit more ambitious when I <laughs> when I put that one away. Most of them I've just stacked. Here's Basket Casey. And Picnic. And some of these some of these subsets, like I believe the classic monsters stickers subset, you can only get those in particular packages. They they came as inserts in only particular uh um ways of purchasing the cards. So they they try to make you not only purchase tons of cards, but purchase tons of different uh, collections of cards. Like, you might have to get the collector's box or the the fat pack or all kinds of different things to get all the different inserts. But here's uh, Green Infernoa. Jab Justine. I'm not sure what that's a reference to. This is from Chud, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Thud Bud and Sewer Susie. I did see Chud, but I don't remember it that well. And this is from... <laughs> Critters. Those are fun movies. But they've made it look like one of those old, uh, that old bowling uh, related garbage pail kid, which is kind of fun. Furball Phil. Dead Alive Clive. Sumatran Dan. Yeah, this is from Dead Alive, which is a great old Peter Jackson movie that's incredibly gory and disgusting, but, but a pretty fun movie. Um,. Oh, and then we got these guys, um, what were these guys called? Ghoulies, yeah. Raoulies, Porcelain Rod. There we go, the green border one. I separated that one out again. Killed Clyde. Shadow Puppet Pete. There's the yellow border. Hans Cuffed. Maniac Zack. I guess that's from Maniac Cop. Never seen that one. Motel Mel, that's from Motel Hell, of course. I've seen that one. Uh, Hog Wiley. Jumping Jang, Misty Vampire, Kelly Comet. I guess that must be from Day of the Comet. I don't think I've seen that one either, but I've heard a lot about it. Bam Bam Sam. Oh, and of course, Tammy Warp, Cavorting Columbia. This is Rocky Horror Picture Show. But we've got, they're stamping someone into the ground, they're completely destroying them. That's gross. Scan Stan from Scanners. I love this one. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> the weird veins and the the position it's it's just really dynamic and just it looks great <laughs> um andy climactic <laughs> it sounds like a review of the movie huh organ nick this one's really nice and gross kind of like that one society sal barb wire 
and Suspiria Mia. Yeah, I thought maybe that's what that was. This is a reference to Suspiria, which is a great Italian horror film. Um, Dario Argento is the director. I love that movie. Uh, this is one of the things I like about this series because it, it makes these like nerdy horror movie references that you know sometimes like oh I remember that movie Stuck Chuck Tiki Dolly I think that's from a um there's a horror anthology movie yeah trilogy trilogy of terror that's what it's called trilogy of Terry Veggie Abel Sloshy Joshy E Live Stick Vanna Vamp Using her finger as a as her lipstick. Demon Damon. Wow, that one's that one's really cool. Look at that. <laughs> it's intense. Keepy Stevie. Oh, and we've moved on now. This is uh this guy is the first of a new sub series, which is folklore monsters, which is fun. Uh, I'm also really into folklore and monsters like that, so that's really that's really interesting to me as well. Sam Heen, Wiccan. Oh, this is Slender Man, Slender Slade. Paul, Paul, Siren, Fishy Felicia, Mirror Mary, oh, it's Bloody Mary, right, Betty Brunch, oh, and she's, <laughs> she's got a Bloody Mary in her hand, that's pretty funny, Jarring Jordan, oh, that's, the, so this is Jordan Peele, this is from his, referring to his movie Us, I believe, yeah, now we've got horror personalities, so th these are fun, too, these are actually all references to actual, like, folks who make the horror movies, so here's, uh, John Carpenter, and he's like been merged here with some of his movie characters that he's created. And here's Vincent Price, <laughs> Stephen King, King of Horror, on all this, a throne of his books. Alive Clive, so this is Clive Barker with the um, Hellraiser uh, puzzle cube there. I see Barker. <laughs> here's George, uh, George Rom Romero. Uh, who did the um, Night of the Living Dead movie? Uh, Zach Early, Horace Host. I, I'm not too familiar with that one. Uh, Guillermo del Toro, Torn del Toro, Gross Guillermo, with holes in his hands. Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Presents, Hitchcock Flock, Wicked Wes, Wes Craven, Creepy Craven. Let's flip it around. Oh, <laughs> this guy is great. Joe Bob Briggs actually hosts a late night show, uh, Boob Tube Briggs here, where he uh, he he'll he's one of those late night hosts who who plays like cult movies and and makes fun of them and and talks about them during the host segments. He's a lot of fun. Oh, and this is Dario Argento that we got that we mentioned earlier, um, and he was Elvira, of course. Chilling Cassandra transformed Tom. Here's Tom Tom Savini. Special effects master. Uh, oh, and then we got Sam Raimi, who did the Evil Dead movies. Raimi of Terror, Silver Screen Sam. And now we're moving on to Horror Victims, which I believe is another uh, small-scale uh, insert subset that you had to buy special packages to get these guys. Paul dolled up. So these guys are just like classic kind of... The kind of victims that you would run across in a <laughs> horror movie. Sawed off Sally. Oh yeah, this is from Halloween, right? The guy hung up in the closet. Hung up Henry. Wally Flower. Killer Bee. <clears throat> Apiary Terry. <laughs> Many eating. Shark bait Kate. Alright, and now we're moving on again to another sub-series. Alright, now we're into modern horror. Whatever that means. Uh, let me get up on my bed here so I'm not in quite so much pain <laughs> while I'm doing it. Um, yeah, Alien vs. Predator. A modern stinker. No, I can't I can't say it's a classic. Oh, Alan vs. Predator. <laughs> An Alien vs. Predatory. The Witches. Witchy Winnie. Eva Airy. What is that even supposed to be? Eva Ari. I I don't even I don't even get the pun there. <laughs> Not always very good. Uh Anna Hell, Disturbed Dolly. Ah, uh, the Baba Duke. Which is a fantastic movie. I highly recommend. Um Sparkling Spalding. Sid Malicious. That's a Sid Vicious movie. I hate those movies actually. 
Uh, what do we got here? Prancing Penny, this is from It. Ted Lights, the, the recent version of It, I guess. Crease Kathy. Biggest fan and... Oh, Pan's Labyrinth, another fantastic movie I highly recommend. Eyeball Paul. Slithering Sue. Ooh. Farting Fran. Oh, she's like choking all these horrible worms with her farts, I guess. Grudge. Jo oh, yeah. Juan the Grudge. It's a very disturbing horror movie. No Invisibility. And Misty Hayes. I think that's from The Fog, right? Nina Nunn. Bad Habit Hannah. Now, this is, of course, from The Purge. Purge Surge. Sam Spew. It's from a movie called Trick Our Treat. Rick Our Treat. Trick Our Pete. Johnny in a Bottle. Wish Lester. This must be from Wishmaster. Ah, Regurgitating Regan. And Inner Damon. <laughs> That's from uh, Exorcist. That's really pretty great. I love the, the super creepy face inside her body. That, I remember that part from The Exorcist. That always creeped me the heck out. Oh, and this is a reference to a famous horror magazine, Bangoria. So this is now we got into retro horror. That's what we're into now. This is not... No longer into modern horror, now we've gone back to retro horror. Uh, here's Ben Head and Zeke Freak, which I think is from Freaks. That is a, a pretty old movie. Notre, Notre Damon and Hurtin' Hugo. Oh, here's Blackula. Blakula. I love the the big, heavy um, drop shadow they put on there <laughs> to give it that old 70s feel. <laughs> and, of course, he's in the position that he looks very much like a... Our uh, 1A from the very first series of Garbage Pail Kids, uh, Nasty Nick, uh, which is really great. Vampire. Uh, Brody Snatcher, Pod Claude. And here's King Kong. I love this one. Kingston Kong and Jungle Jim. Oh, he's sad. He broke his dolly. <laughs> um, oh, here's Mothra. Gotta love Mothra. Martha Moth with the little girls that... uh. That sort of uh, call on Mothra in the movies. Chrissy Liss. Dwight Stalker. Say Cheese Carl. That's Night Stalker. And we've got, again, another another uh, appearance of Nasty Nick. He really shows up in this series a lot. I guess that makes sense. Here's Devilish Damien from The Omen. Omar Omen. Oh, Dantasm. The Phantasm movies. Gotta love the Phantasm movies. With the ball with the spikes in it and the tall man. Love those movies. Evil Ira. Here's Rodan from the Godzilla movies. Birdie poop. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the gigantic bird poop. That's uh, that's going a little too far for me. But, you know, everybody's got their different things that they're grossed out by. Blood Tucker. Crooked Kurt. It's Vampirella. Vampirella. That's really great the way they've they've captured that. I love the art on that one and the pose and everything. Oh, uh, we've got Village of the Damned. That's awesome. <laughs> Village of the Dean. Staring Contessa. That's pretty great. I like that name. <clears throat> oh, Psycho Patrick and Walt Street. Uh, this is from, uh, what do you call it? I always forget the name of that movie. American Psycho, right? Yeah. That, that's a really good movie, too. Very disturbing. Uh... Chucky, Chuck Bouquet, Tiffany Topper. Oh, another Chucky one. <laughs> GPK guys, that's a great uh, meta reference there. With the G.I. Joe and the Barbie next to him. And uh, Fly the Cooper. Here's Fractured Francis, Metal Plate Nate. Oh, and then we've got uh, Freddy and Jason here together. Oh, they're doing like a uh, comparing kill counts. <laughs> Figuring Freddy and Estimation Jason. Uh, and let's... Why not do some more uh, Jason references here? Jab Jason, bottom of the Blake. Friday the 13th. Uh, meditating Michael and Masked Manny. This is pretty funny. So they're going to uh, Halloween here and... Uh, his, the mask that he wears in those movies is, in fact, a William Shatner mask. So, <laughs> that's a, a nice meta reference there. Um, Hatchet. 
axed Max. Bloody buddy. What are we what are we into now anyway? Let's see. Oh now we're into slasher films. So that's what we've been doing for the last uh page here. This is slasher films now. There's this set. Retching Robert. Ooh, that's gross. Nightmare on Elm Street, of course. Fawnmouth Freddy. Normal Norman. Oh, we've gone to Psycho now. Is it still slashers? Yeah, still slasher films. Psycho Killian. Tree Cycle. Saw Saul. Of course, this is Saw. Here's Scream, Reese Charge, and Ghost Faith. <laughs> Silent Night. I'm guessing this is Silent Night, Deadly Night. And Deadly. And then, um... Massa Kirk and Bubba Burger. That's um, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then, yes, this series also has another set of um, Wacky Package type cards. Um, these ones are called Trick or Treat Stickers. So they have this fun, like, Halloween type thing going on with these Wacky Package candies that include pictures of GPK characters on the la labels. So... There's a lot going on here. We've got GBK references. We've got packaging parodies, wacky package references, <laughs> uh, and horror movie references. All, all stuck in there. Sugar Daffy, you'll go nuts over it. And these appear to yeah. These are all um, the landscape uh, they went with on these types here. Clank, junky, stinky, trash compacted candy. Scary Jane. I really like these. They really put a lot of like, you can see they put a lot of detail and, and effort into giving them that sort of 3D feel with like the the color of the lighting and the the wrapper torn a little bit on that one and that's nice. Busted figure, broken candy. <laughs> and then, I've got uh, one of the packages stuck in here. This is the package they came in. And then this guy is a special card that they put in uh, in some of the packages, which is basically just an advertisement for the, um, the mobile game they created, um, which uh, came out a while ago. It was on iOS for a long time, and then they also finally ported it to Android. Uh, so I've played it a little bit. It's, you know, it's all right, <laughs> uh, for a mobile game. Um, but, uh, yeah, you basically get, um, Garbage Pail Kid characters, um, as these, uh, characters that you can fight with against, like, the CPU or, or against other players. Um, and they have, like, various abilities and you can level them up and stuff. But anyway, that's another binder I've gone through. Um, we covered a number of different things there. Uh, a lot of this is, like I said, this is a miscellaneous binder, so a lot of this was just kind of like little bits and bobs of things. Um, but yeah, I did have the, the complete base set of Revenge of the Horrible in there, which is fun. Um, so we hate the 90s, and then I've got, uh, more to come, more binders, more, more random bits of Garbage Pail Kid history, so... I hope you'll uh, catch up with me again in uh, future videos. Bye-bye.